how do you tell the difference between a rotator cuff tear and tendonitis? And I will tell you, you, you almost can't unless you have some sort of imaging because there are actually millions of people walking around that have full thickness rotator cuff tears that are completely asymptomatic, right? So they have a full thickness cuff tear, full torn, but they don't have any pain because their shoulder has balanced and kind of compensated and coped. There are people that have tendonitis with no tear and they have horrible pain. And they both present in very similar fashions in terms of their history and their physical exam. So really you, you wanna get an x-ray you know, to start that doesn't show the cuff, but you can see arthritis and different things. And then you wanna get imaging. For us, we use in-office ultrasound, which if you wanted to do something that takes 30 seconds, that has the most, like can get to the bottom of it as quickly and as accurately as possible with the least amount of cost and time, it's ultrasound because that's 100%. It's 100% to be able to tell if it's torn or not. It takes 30 seconds and we can do it in the office.